2002, your son wrote, <clears throat> to become a scientist is hard enough, but to become one while running a gauntlet of lies, insults, mockeries, and disapproval, this is what my mother had to do. If such treatment is unthinkable, or at least unusual today, it's largely because my mother and other female scientists of her generation proved equal to every obstacle thrown their way. So you said when you were young, Marie Curie was just a mythical figure for you until you account, encountered that citation um, in the astronomy textbook. Yes. So I'm wondering, what do you think is the importance of having role models for young women today? If by role models you mean that they can see that somebody else did it, it's very important because one of the things which still happens to women is they're very interested in some field and they go to their high school uh, guidance counselor and the guidance counselor says, no, no. As a matter of fact, in, at Stanford University, they were having a, a meeting of what kind of, when I was at Stanford University, of what kind of, uh, of careers women could come to, and they had invited all these people from uh, soft, sci soft sciences, and said, but they didn't invite me. So I said, what are, you know, I'm a, sci a woman scientist, and I'd like to come. And the woman s pulled up and said, our girls are into nurture, not nature. And a woman in, in college getting that kind of nonsense. It becomes very guilty. You're not a girl if you're interested in nature. Antelopes hopping over over uh, big walls is not for you. The sun is not for you. But I have a great recipe for gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs>